take a walk down here. You know, it don't look like much in this condition, but this is actually an amazing pile of antique motorcycle parts. So the right run to be digging through that pile and looking for some special thing they need. Uh, and this was actually, you know, like a, a, a warehouse. That there were a lot of people working here and these parts in bins were all done by part number and they were pulling this stuff out of here and, uh, you know, packaging it and shipping it. It was an ongoing business, very successful business, until he built the new building and moved everything over there. And this is just what's left here was just the stuff that didn't fit in anymore. That might be the handlebars I need. I think like a thing like this, I can tell you this is like, you know, 1913, 1915. Indian. They were very innovative. They had a, actually had a swing arm back then. We can see that it sat out in the elements and the metal is almost all gone. It's disintegrated. It still was cool stuff. This Cleveland motorcycle, we're going to get running. Uh, we'll have it at the museum next summer running. Yeah. We're not going to restore it, I don't think. We're just going to clean it up and get the thing running and riding. It's, a, it's in really good condition. When it was parked, but it looks like it was parked as a running motorcycle. Another four cylinder motorcycle here. I don't even know what that is, if that's an Ace, but it's a Henderson. It's got their buddy seat on the back. <laughs> How'd you like to be sitting up on that, holding on for dear life? <laughs> Just amazing stuff. A lot of old parts. A lot of it's still actually new inventory that eventually will be pulled out and, you know, repackaged and for sale. It's a lot of brand new stuff in here that just hasn't been moved out of here. A little better than this one. It's in the museum now. This place, you know, the guys like that Pickers show, mm. those guys would go absolutely bananas to get in a place like this. Oh, yeah. I don't think it'll ever happen. Mm. It's a Harley VL there. It would be like 1934, I think, with that fender and tail light. It's a beautiful machine. Mm. This is actually a nicer one than the one I'm working on. It's an Indian Power Plus, or it might be a standard or a cheap, I don't know. They all look pretty much the same to me. But that's early, too. That's like, well, pre-1920 with those fenders. And it's got that swing arm frame of what they call the loop frame. It's Harley Davidson, this one. Indian four-cylinder, beautiful bike. This is an Indian four-cylinder, too. This one label is 35, this is a 30. Indian Scout, 1926. Look at this little taillight. few years in their 30s, they even tried to like standardize their frames and they're using the same frame for four cylinder, uh, a chief and a big scout. Well, we made it to the end of the line. Another Indian back in there, I don't know what it is. Gorgeous stuff. It's Indian. 
1937. Let's go see what we can do about that. Yeah, that's great. 